Welcome back to Jacksonville, Florida 360. My name is Sonetta Spicer. I am a Jacksonville, Florida native and licensed real estate agent here in the greater Jacksonville, Florida area. Today's topic will be about homestead tax exemption. What is it and how do you qualify for it? Homestead is a tax reduction on your assessed value of your home. So when you are getting ready to close on a home, there are certain things that you will need in order to apply for a homestead. At closing, you will sign a deed to your home. The real estate attorney or title company will send your deed to be recorded. And once you receive your deed back, which normally takes about four to six weeks, you will receive your deed. Uh, make sure that your driver's license is updated so that you can then apply for your homestead either online or you can go down to the property appraisal office in order to apply for it in person because you may be entitled to additional benefits. How homestead work is the total reduction is up to $50,000. When you apply for it, the initial savings is $25,000, up to $25,000 of additional tax savings, properties value over $50,000. You also have a cap when it comes to your assessed value on your home so there is a three percent cap your taxes will not go above that three percent a year regardless of how the market is doing so if the market is going crazy like how it was the last couple of years it will not affect your property as much because your assessed value is capped at three percent due to the save our homes act of florida law if you are military because Jacksonville is a big military town. If you are military, there are additional benefits that you may be entitled to, especially if you are at least 10% disabled or you are receiving at least 10% disability. You can provide your award letter and you're entitled to additional property tax savings. Now, if you're receiving 100% disability through VA, then make sure you provide that paper work or your award letter because now you are exempt from pay paying property taxes. For other military savings, if you are military and you're getting ready to deploy outside of the country, you are entitled to other savings when it comes to your property taxes. So make sure when you come back from deployment that you provide that information to the property appraisal office because you may be virtual back some savings. However, always double check with the property appraisal office. For those who receive order outside of the Jacksonville area and you want to keep your homestead, when you rent your property out, you're no longer entitled to those savings. However, with military, if you're keeping your home, you're able to rent your home out and still keep your homestead tax saving. However, you will need to provide a copy of your orders to the county to show that you have orders outside of the Jacksonville area and you will be able to keep those savings on your property as opposed to someone that that's not military. Another good thing about homestead exemption is that you can transfer or port over your homestead to another property. So say for instance, you're buying a new home and the value of the home is more and you're concerned about the amount of taxes that you'll have to pay. Well, the home that you're currently living in, if you decide to sell, or even if you decide to rent it out, you can port up to 500,000 to the other home. And how it works is that, say you're in a home and the assessed value is about 175,000 and you're moving up to a home that is valued at 400,000 where you can take some of those savings up to 500,000 you'll port it over to the other home that 175,000 off the initial 500,000 so you'll save and you'll still be able to benefit from that initial 175,000 off the initial 400,000 on your new home Keep in mind, if you decide to rent your home out or sell your home, you have up to three years in order to port 
your homestead savings. And when I say up to three years, is January 1st of the year that you left at home. So for instance, if you sold your home in February of 2021, you have until January of 2024. So January 1st of 2024, if you haven't ported your homestead, then you would get taxed on the regular amount of that home. So you will not be able to port and have additional savings. So keep that in mind. If you want more information, you can contact the property appraisal office or you can go online to find out more information about homestead tax exemption. So that concludes homestead tax exemption today. If there's any specific information that you would like for me to cover about real estate or in the Jacksonville area, please submit your comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.